Back here on First Take from Richmond, Virginia, dinner on this man. He made his name with the Carolina Panthers, <laughs> no. got paid by the Redskins, the highest paid corner in the NFL. Josh Norman, thank you for being with us again. Thanks, Ma. I Congratulations on this deal. $50 million guaranteed. You heard me say highest paid corner wow. in the NFL. What does that mean? Ah, Got to keep going for more. Got to keep striving for be the best you can be. And um, that is just one of the, you know, stepping stones that God blessed me with to be able to accomplish. But I'm looking for more, you know. I'm looking for more to do. Um, that's just one of the things that, you know, obviously he blessed me with. Um, but I don't look at it as, you know, I have that mm -hmm. because I don't feel like I still do because I work out here like I don't. So we know you paid. You should be very, very happy about that. Uh, but we also know how much you loved Carolina. And uh, how has it been being here? And, and how long were you shaking up about being uh, about departing from Carolina? Well, I, I, obviously, the, the human side of you, of course, is going to feel some type of way because you've been there all your life. You know, you, you're trying to build the organization and build there. You've seen it from the bottom up to the top. You know what I'm saying? Like you've been in that. You had your hand in that. Yep. You helped mold that. And when you're not in it, dang, it just feels like a, a big, like, like gut punch. Like you, you help, like that's kind of your baby in a way. And the guys that you grew up with, you're not there no more. Of course, there's gonna be that feeling. That's that human side of you. But at the same token, you gotta understand: uh, was I growing there? The guy see me fit to stay there. He have other measures for me to go and expand and meet new people, and help them out and grow in other places. Of course, and so that's why, you know, Washington Redskins was a perfect fit for me because of what all they brought to the table and what I was looking for. Now, I got messages today. Josh Norman's like, make sure he's there. <laughs> Don't duck me. So I'm here. <laughs> In the flesh. Oh, why did you want me to make, why'd you want to make sure I was here? No, I'm just, why do I want to make sure you want to hear it? I like how you're throwing that back at me, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, John, look, I, was, had, did it have something to do with Odell Beckham comments? Man, it ain't had nothing to do with none of that. Um, I just think that to know to understand the position to how, you know, you, you guys was talking about me out here in the practice field getting beat up um, by a wide receiver on one-on-ones, and it's just... One on ones in practice. Of course, I, 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 I wasn't happens. making a big deal out of that. I mean, I mean, it's just like, gosh, oh, it's World War Three. Like, oh right. man, bombs on a bad dad out right. here. Like, I wasn't making I, a I'm big trying, deal out of that. I, I don't think that's out. fair to you that a, one, a dude like Deshaun Jackson puts one move on you in practice and it's all over the internet. That's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> so what, what I'm talking, talking about is the game against Odell where it's like Josh Norman did a great job on him, and I give you credit, you're so competitive, I think you got into his head because he dropped what would have been a, a touchdown catch. Okay. let's talk but about But he that did drop. beat you on the play. Let's talk about that drop, okay? Yeah. Um, first off, I'm going to go back and clarify that because everybody thought it was a man, which is not true. All right. I'm clarify. It was not man. Right. It's cover four. So in cover four, I'm looking outside. Quarter. Of course, yep. quarter, quarter, half. That is how you play it. So quarter safety is going to be there. But at the same time, I'm not passing no blame on nobody for what they do. I'm going, I'm looking, looking back at the quarterback. I see him break. I look back, nobody there. I'm running to go and catch him. And I said some things, well, who knows what I'm saying. I'm not going to tell you on the field. Okay. <laughs> but, you know, looking back, he dropped the ball. But at the same time, that's on him. That's not on what I've done or anything like that. But at the same time, go back and watch film and see what coverage we're in. So for you to say that, and say we was man on that play from everybody seeing that and how, oh, we got beaten up. Check it out. Watch the full thing. I look well, back. I'm up. running, right. speeding up. So it's not like we playing. Can one you one play one man on Odell? Listen, you're in the NFC East. At that position, what you've been paid to do now is ridiculous when you consider the receivers in the division. Can you play man defense in this day and age with these rules and these receivers in your division? Wow. Well, like I said, you probably have to go back and watch the film because um, that's what I've done when we played them last year. Um, it's no different. I played the two guys in our division last year, Dez and Julio. So, I mean, Dez and Odell, both of them. So, and I played a man. So it's like for me to try to figure out where's all this coming well, well, from? Well, let me tell you where it's coming from. Let me answer that because we're running out of time. Let me answer that. You being paid the way that you are, 
with folks looking at the cornerback position and you see a Richard Sherman and you see a Patrick Peterson and you see so many of these other guys, so many people trying to debate and to some degree the players themselves playing that position, debating who's the best, who's not, responsibilities. But Terrell, Terrell Reeves talked to us about getting up on a guy, bumping, you know, playing bump and run, right. manning up and following your man as opposed to somebody that's subjected to zone schemes and playing that way. The pressure is on you with this team, who's the reigning defending NFC East champions, to step up and buffer that secondary even more. Do you feel that pressure, and do you embrace it? Pressure burst pipes, and I don't have it. So um, do I feel pressure on myself? No. Um, I'm not trying to come out here and prove that people are wrong. I'm trying to prove that I'm right. At the end of the day, I'm going to go out here and do what I do, play a physical style of football. In your face, smash mouth. That's what we do. End of the day, I don't really care about what other people say. That's their own opinions, man. Right. Like for me, everybody look like, oh, how did he get here? I'm an enigma to people. You know, I'm an enigma. People don't understand that. So they're trying to figure it out. And at the end of the day, I'm going to do what I got to do for my teammates. And we're going to be where we're going to be at after all said and done. Because well, last question, where you going to be at? I don't care. Last question, where you going to be at? Well, shoot, Meet man. We out here working, trying to get a ring. That's what we're out here for. If you ain't out here doing that, then you failing. You just played with a team that went so, to the Super Bowl. You trying to say this team could go to the Super Bowl? I'm saying we're working towards our goal. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So, and so you know where I am on you. I admire your competitiveness. I think it makes you an excellent player. But I don't think it's possible in this day and age to man cover the, the elite receivers, not even a knock on you, even you know, anybody <laughs> is going to man cover us. It's Deion Sanders, right, these elite receivers. So, so if they don't catch 100 yards, if they don't have to go over 100 yards, then what that is? That's a good job in oh, terms of scheming. Wow. That's a good job wow. in terms of, in wow. terms of scheming. Wow. Get out of here, man. Josh, <laughs> you thank you. Thank there. you. Thank you so much for being <laughs> with us. Good luck this All season. Right, Congrats thanks, on everything Appreciate you knew home. Hope Absolutely. everything goes well. When we come back, his teammate on defense there, <laughs> I see him, D'Angelo Hall. Come on out. Oh, up to the hot seat right now. Oh, so More from Redskins Camp. Stay here. What's up, brother?